let me highlight two elements of Meres's thinking, which remain as refreshingly subversive as ever. First, he rejected the false choice between the state and the market. Every developed economy, without exception, is the fruit of a free market and a strong developmental state working in the tender. <laughs> Melis's starting point was that democracy and development are actually inseparable. Democracy and development both depend on a good politics in which there is no room for the powerful special interests who benefited most from the predatory states created by colonials and pro propped up by Cold War cynicism. In my experience in the bank and the numbers I've seen, the most unequal countries on this continent with genius high seven and above, are those who are rich in rent. That rent would be oil, gas, or some other subsoil sources. And so the point Melis was making was, uh, the state of that nature, the states were in the 1960s, which says, I have rent to correct, and therefore I don't care about the people. Those are the kind of states which Africa does not require. This forum is a fitting tribute to his vision and intellectual legacy. And I commend the African Development Bank's support for the initiative.